welcome to Watch Mojo's Let's Play Countdown, where we count down our favorite Let's Play videos in a specific category. Today I thought we'd sit down and talk about DayZ. That delightful little human nature simulator about murdering some zombies, but mostly other people. Let's have a look. Number 5, DayZ Psychopath Series. Channel, Normal Difficulty. Leave me alone! Stop the rest of it! Tell me, have you ever been chased to the ends of the earth by a psychopath? Because if you haven't, then watching Matt from Normal Difficulty flee for his life is definitely an educational experience. I'm gonna cut the claws off! Where are you guys? <laughs> Where are you? I don't know! I don't I'm even know. I'm running for my life! I'm gonna psycho on me! It started simply enough. Matt was just running about in a live stream of DayZ, minding his own business, when out of the blue a player named Party Pomser began shouting like he'd been set on fire and making some really strange threats. Get back here, motherfucker! I'm gonna cut your head off! Oh my god! Then the threats turned into an outright chase, with Matt begging for help while this bizarre, murderous man refused to stop chasing him. Help me, please! Oh, your head off. Help me, please! Help me! God. Matt, keep yes, running get that him, direction. get him, get him! I don't know who you are, but thank you! It all seemed sort of like a fluke, a one-time incident that couldn't possibly repeat itself. And yet, what we have here is a string of chance encounters that escalated so fast. Party Pompster is hilarious, plain and simple. He never gives up trying to kill Matt, and he even gets a bit devious in how he starts luring Matt into traps. Hey, I got a truck coming. You, you My friend stole Party Pompster's truck. That sounds like Party Pompster actually, trying to make a different voice. I don't trust you, you killed me before. Hey! That really makes me want to cut your head off! <laughs> you fuck! What are you doing? Why are you doing that? I knew that wasn't Kiwi. This isn't an elaborate series or a particularly long one, but it definitely shows how morbidly funny the world of Daisy can be. 50? Like yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Number four, getting kidnapped and tortured. Channel, The Syndicate Project. Wait until my friends get here. My pimp's gonna f you up. Kidnap, torture, human indecency. I think we can all agree that those things on their own are absolutely horrible. But when it's in a video game and it's played for laughs, I think it's safe to have a few chuckles. Hey. Listen, you either tell your friends to back off or you're gonna die, all right? I don't have any friends. If you're like us and you appreciate pitch black comedy, then this is the playthrough for you. The player here, Alfie, gets himself into quite a spot of trouble. Another player ties him up and then starts doing weird things to him, like stripping him naked and uh, shooting him in the dick. Twice. Wait, why did you shoot me? Why are you shooting me in the dick? <laughs> but it doesn't stop there, folks. Alfie does manage to escape and naturally runs into the nearby forest like a bat out of hell. What follows here is a tense game of cat and mouse, with Alfie seeking cover as the other player keeps hunting after him. Oh my god. <laughs> I did hold out hope that Alfie would escape, but I did laugh when those hopes were squashed. Right around the time his legs break. Go on, my friend. Run. Run. <laughs> yeah, run. <laughs> Crawl like the little pig you are. <laughs> Number three, the cannibal experiment. Channel, Jam Jar. Come on, please, you don't have to do this. Shut up! And here I was thinking that the apocalypse brought out the best in people. But nope, it turns out that under the right circumstances, we can be convinced to do just about anything. Is that your buddy? Uh, kinda, yeah, kinda. Anyway, right from the first episode, there's a certain creepiness hanging in the air. That may have something to do with Jam Jar, whose name in the video is quite literally, not important, conducting an experiment. Can other players be manipulated into becoming murderous cannibals? What choice will they take? To kill the crazy friend they just made? Or to eat human flesh? Not Important tracks down player after player, talks them into coming back to his camp, and then commands them to kill a prisoner for meat. Do it! Please. I'm sorry. Add a boy blankets. We're hungry out here. No cutaways, no fancy editing techniques, just unsettling conversations that often build towards violence. Kind of like a Tarantino movie. It was you or him, Blankets. You or him. 
So what do you got to tell yourself when you're dying on the swine? And yet, it's hard not to be fascinated by the cycle at play here. Two of the three players not important to Brings Back willingly go along with becoming cannibals. They don't offer up much in the way of resistance, and they themselves become prisoners to be killed. So it was all the more fun when that last player breaks the cycle, and it makes for a rather abrupt but fitting conclusion. He's dead, man. Oh. He's dead. I got handcuffed. Oh. oh my god, thank you so much. Number 2. Mr. Moon, Flesh of My Flesh, Daisy Standalone. Channel, Mr. Moon. He, he has the perfect amount of tang. From what I've seen, a lot of players like to just dive into DayZ and start to mess with other players. In fact, it seems that's what most people do. Flesh of My Flesh kicks off with a grisly scene where Moon and his friends have captured a cannibal, tied him up, and promptly kill him. But I have to imagine that the phrase, the punishment fits the crime, must have crossed their minds at some point. You need some practice there, Charlotte. Oh, nice! There we go! No one's coming to save you. Then the video really gets going. Mr. Moon and company have a lot of fun playing all kinds of roles as the situation demands. Sometimes they're just likable survivors looking for a home, and sometimes they're ruthless killers on the prowl. Go ahead and get in the cell for me, and I will be right behind right, you. You go first. Uh, Jenny, who, who's the one with the loaded gun here? The video's events never feel slow or overly indulgent, particularly when the action gets going and the bodies start dropping. And that ending, man, if that doesn't give you chills, I don't know what will. Turn the eyes. Charles, do you want to do the honors? Just so you know, we're gonna eat you in front of your new girlfriend here. So, have a nice trip! Carve him up! Number 1, Arma 3, Daisy Exile. Channel, Frankie on PC in 1080p. Let's see what the problem is. Well, I can tell you what the problem is. <laughs> dead. Ever since Arma 3 was released, players were eager to see what the DayZ mod would look like up in this new engine. Well, apparently Frankie on PC in 1080p was just as curious, what with him literally diving into the DayZ Exile mod head first. Let me explain. The first video starts off with a halo jump, which isn't just a nice flourish on Frankie's part, it's part of the mod itself. It's completely thrilling and segues beautifully into the meat of the video, Frankie trying to survive in a land populated by as many trolls as there are zombies. That's figurative trolls, by the way. That was so, that was so danger close, you won't even believe. There's a particular apocalyptic feel to this video, probably because he doesn't interact with a lot of different players and spends most of his time exploring rather than fighting. When there is action, it's short-lived but super tense, like when Frankie faces down a group of zombies in a flooded area. Yeah, they're, they're, they're coming, they're coming. Just get in the house, just get in the house, just get in the house. Okay. Also, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the ending. Frankie's friend gets hurt, a zombie horde is bearing down, and Frankie himself only barely escapes before explosive charges go off. All of that is already awesome on its own until you consider that Frankie made his escape on a speeder bike. Guess working. Yes, we do mean the speeder bike from Return of the Jedi. Don't ask questions, just enjoy it. I'm out. So, what's your favorite DayZ video? And what other topics would you like to see us cover here on the Let's Play Countdown? As always, for more great content published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You're lying. Good man, Dylan. Now let's eat. <laughs>